It's funny that you guys are doing like the van, the go van, because yeah. uh, a couple of my friends came down here. Uh, they were they were traveling in a bus, a veggie oil powered bus, and they were going all the way to Guatemala because they had land down there and they wanted to build their yoga retreat. And they came, stopped by for a little bit on the trip through. You meet a lot of people, lots of nomads come through here, you know. Stop along the way and then move on to wherever the hell they're going. My name is Matthew Cerniglia. Um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and this is the Earthship that I live in now. Um, I came here back in March. Uh, I spent most of my life living in the woods out in Missouri, and over the time as I grew up, I saw a lot of my favorite places as a child being torn down to put up subdivisions and houses and just these big boxes put up on the hillsides, and I was tired of it. Where we are right now, we're in the Greater World community, um, which is a community made up of 70 plus Earthships, privately owned and uh, rented, all under Michael Reynolds, who was the creator. What an Earthship is, it's a self-sustainable, completely off-the-grid home made of recyclable materials. So if you look in our walls, it looks like a straight adobe, but there's tires behind it. And those are packed with earth to give us thermal mass so that we don't have to have heating. Our water supply comes from the sky. The houses catch their own water. We have solar panels for electricity. This is the planter that I have. Um, it's all run on gray water. So after the, we shower, all the water goes to this planter and feeds these plants. We have a banana tree there in the back that giant guy, and we have a fig tree here. Um, in my little spice garden, I have basil. I got a little bit of spinach if I want to make a sandwich. I came here um, with the academy um, just willing to learn. I had never built a birdhouse in my whole life. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And I showed up with about 30 other students from all over the world, and we started building this house, Wavy, down the street from here, pounded the first tires, and Sooner than later, I started to see it. This lifestyle isn't just about building houses. It's about completely changing your life. You now, people here, there's a wide range of elderly retired people, but there's also a bunch of young folks that came here just like, I got no money, I wanna build, put me on the Mesa. And that makes for really interesting parties and uh, social events, you know. We have a couple bars here in town that people like to hang out. And I came from the city, so it's definitely a step down but you also get a little weirder with the parties. You know, one thing I will tell you is once you come here and live this, you can't unlive it. Um, so even for instance, I went back home and I went and stayed at my old house that I used to, a conventional house, and I was like, no, this isn't, this isn't me, you know? And I think that for the rest of my life, um, whether it be in an earthship or another self-sustainable house, anything, like this is the lifestyle that I choose to live and this is the only way I can. And honestly, it's my goal to raise my children in this way, I see, you know, the people who have been here for a while have raised their kids and I see them and they're like nothing I've never met. Like they're such amazing people that they've never lived with on-grid electricity. They've never lived with on, this is all that they know having been born. And I think with that, once you raise them from the roots, like this is how we can live, that's what's gonna start shaping the future. So yeah, I would totally raise my kids here. I, I want this lifestyle to continue and I think by raising healthy, a healthy family in this environment, that's what's gonna get this to spread even faster.